First look at Android 12 Beta 5 from the Google Pixel 5 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Android 12 Beta 5 from the Google Pixel 5 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. And the first thing we are going to address in the video is the elephant in the room, which is fingerprint on display. So here it is, Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro running Android 12 Beta 5. Let us first go into the application info for the Termux application and here it is term ux and go into permissions make sure it has the files and media permission if this shows up in the not allowed section tap on it give it the permission so that it can move over to the allowed section next up we need to open this application and we are going to create a file the command is on your screen right now so this here is the command and before I execute it, let me open FX file manager, go into main storage and here and tap on the three dot menu on the top right and make sure this option is checked show hidden and let me also change the view to list. So you will notice right now I do not have any file called amog 787fod boost. I can now go back to my application wherein I have entered the command and we are going to press the enter key. You did not get anything which means everything was executed without any issues and if I go back to fx file manager here it is this is the file which we have just created and we are using the 2000 fod boost just so that we can register it without any issues next thing of course we need to boot into our recovery so that we can flash the fix so again turn off your device and once the device has turned off press and hold power and volume up together till you see the recovery logo and i am using twrb for the purpose of this video because that is what the developer recommends here and we will go into install go into download this is where we have the fod fix select the file and then you're going to swipe to confirm flash and as you can see it was flashed without any errors we are going to say reboot system so we have booted back into Android 12 beta 5 on our device we are getting the pixel is starting we can now go into settings and then we will go into security pixel imprint try to set this up and let me enter a pin code so the pin code has been entered and let us tap on more and I agree and there it is you do have the green circle circle press and hold there it is so clean the sensor can be ignored and you do have to press a bit harder and yep there it is it was added and let me tap on done next thing let us go ahead and turn the screen off turn it back on and then we can try to unlock it there it is working without any issues now what you can customize over here is the boost level which works best for you it comes with support for six levels of boost for registering we used the boost level of 2000 how do you know we used 2000 because we used the file name as hyphen 2000 so this is the maximum level you can use 600 800 1000 1200 1400 1600 1800 all you need to do is just either delete this file and create a new one with whatever boost level you want so the number after the hyphen is the boost level and feel free to experiment with different boot levels now another thing they have implemented with this latest build which is like super exciting is the ability to change the color of your FOD icon and you can choose between three different colors now you have white and i think you have green and you have cyan and this here is how the white one looks like now this is a bug which i have noticed wherein sometimes it shows a solid white this should 
change after some time yep there it is once i swiped up it has now changed and it is almost almost transparent and works like a boss so the current setting which i have is fod boost 2000 and i am using the white icon how do you change this let us use the method in which we can use twrp so again turn off your device and once the device has turned off we are going to press and hold power and volume up till we boot into twrp so here it is we are in twrp we will go into advanced and terminal here and type in pwd and this is our present directory so by default we are in root we are going to do cd space slash sd card and then press the enter key we are now in the internal storage here and do in ls and you will notice i have two files green.sh and white.sh so i have made scripts so that you don't have to type in those commands first of all let us make the file executable do note this you need to do only once so chmod space plus x and then the name of the file which is let us move over to green.sh and then you can press the enter key again no errors which means everything was absolutely fine and then to execute is as easy as sh space name of the file in this case green.sh and you will notice we got the output as green so green was successfully populated into the file and the permission was also set you will notice everything here is read write and execute so you have rwx three times which means the permission is 777 and now we can go back and reboot our device so we have booted back and i had to of course change the wallpaper because the matrix wallpaper was green and green on green would not be visible on camera but here it is you will now notice that we have the fod icon as green and let us give it a try bam there it is you can see it is working like a boss so again awesome great work and fod this time around is super great if you dial in the correct fod boost for your device me personally i am keeping it as fod boost 2000 working without any issues so here it is android 12 of course you do have the android 12 easter egg if you go to 12 you do get your colors over here however with beta 5 once you do that you can always go to your home screen press and hold go into widgets you will have a new easter egg and this one here is the android s easter egg once you drag and drop it you will get what you call paint chips once you tap on this you will get the accent colors which are being used in your current ui and if you tap on any of these you will be able to copy and share them pretty cool isn't it and while we are talking about widgets you do have the new clock widgets as well so if you tap on clock bam here it is four new clock widgets something which a lot of us have been eagerly waiting for have finally been added with android 12 beta 5 and while we are talking about the clock do note that they have implemented material u for a few applications one of them is the clock application the animation when you change to the different options at the bottom is pretty cool similarly if i try to add an alarm you will notice that you have a new ui over here as well everything does look pretty great similarly with the calculator application also you have material u tap on the three dot menu on the top right go to choose theme you can choose between light dark and system default and let us choose the dark one bam here it is dark theme you also have an easter egg in your calculator as well so yep keep it real and of course all of this is going to respond to the wallpaper which you are using so let us try to change the wallpaper to something else let me go into change wallpaper let us choose the mandalorian wallpaper and once you do that the ui should adapt to the changes of material u and first change you of course will notice is in the home screen and similarly for your paint chips also you will notice that the colors have now changed if you now open your 
calculator application, BAM, here it is, colors adapted to Material U. Similarly, for the clock app also, there it is, they did adapt to the Material U changes. Now, while we are on the home screen, do note that there's a current bug on the pixel betas as well, wherein your weather information is not showing in at a glance widget. And if you go into home settings and try to change something over here, you will notice everything is missing. Again, this is a known issue. Then over here, you will see something called search your phone. Now, what is this? Well, they have enabled system wide search. And if I open my application drawer, the first change you should notice is that the ugly search bar has been fixed. It is more elegant, doesn't have the edges anymore. You have proper, decent, circular edges. Now, if you tap on this three dot menu, you also have the option of always show keyboard. So now, whenever I open my app drawer, the keyboard is going to open up automatically. Of course, material you theme over here as well. And if you go into the preferences, this is where you can choose what do you want to see in your search results? Do you want to see the shortcuts, people, settings, pixel tips? And this is the search results which are going to show when you try to use your system wide search. Next up, let us head over to settings. So as you can see, the UI of course is pretty smooth. Herein, let us jump over to batteries. So the issue of excessive battery drain has been fixed. If I go into battery usage, there it is. You will see that I have been using this build for some time now and I haven't seen any excessive battery drain. Then you also have your toggle for battery percentage, going to battery saver. You do have the Pixel 5 exclusive extreme battery saver baked in as well jumping over to sound and vibration nothing new over here everything is the same old options which you get then we can head over to our display settings now here and of course you do have your brightness level adaptive brightness working go into lock screen so here and you will notice two new toggles show wallet and show device controls and these are going to show up on your lock screen on the bottom left and bottom right and these are for those of you who use your phone to control the smart devices attached or connected to your phone and you also use your phone for making payments then now playing of course do not enable this you might get media lag and ui lag aod works without any issues along with the super cool aod animations lift to check is broken but wake for notifications works without any issues then you also have screen timeout and of course here and you can enable screen attention and if i babble for 15 minutes you will notice that the pop-up camera will slide up check if somebody is looking at it and then it is gonna go slide back down there it is pop-up camera checked is somebody looking nope yes whatever the situation might be it is going to figure it out for you then you also have dark theme let us enable dark theme and have a look at the ui yep everything is pretty great when it comes to the dark theme also accent colors everything does look pretty great with android 12. similarly you can change your font size display size colors yes you can choose between natural boosted adaptive and saturated and all these options are working auto rotate screen is present works without any issues face detection also works then you also have your screensaver double tap to wake is there and it works without any issues Next up, we can head over to your system settings. So here and of course, you do have your pop-up camera settings, camera LED works, sound effects work. Of course, do note that it does come with drop protection. So if you're using your front camera and the phone drops, it is going to retract automatically. In gestures, you do have quick tap. Yes, double tap on the back is there, works. Then if you go into system navigation, you can of course choose between two different options. Go into gesture settings, you can invoke the assistant and you can change the sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge one-handed mode is present works without any issues and the other thing you can do is create a shortcut for one-handed mode and this floating bar will appear or if you tap on the shortcut you can use your volume keys as well for one-handed mode whatever you want to use 
then with respect to the gaming mode you will still not find it in the settings anywhere so you have to go into settings here in search the settings type in game you will see something called game settings go here enable the dashboard next thing you need to do is open any game so let us open pac-man and once you've opened pac-man you can of course you know switch over to your home screen now open your recents and go to any other application like game settings and now we can switch back to pac-man and we should have the bar here it is you have the controller tap on that and you have the different options of screenshot screen recorder similarly fps meter is also there and the other thing you can do is you can move this around wherever you want to and it will also snap back in as a small arrow once you're done using it next up in terms of safety net do note that the device is not rooted and safety net passes for me without any issues so here it is basic integrity is passing we can also head over to the google play store and here and we can check if the device is certified or not so here it is about phone device is certified this means your banking apps should be working without any issues with respect to youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works picture in picture works of course for picture in picture to work either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium then with respect to google photos either you get storage saver or original quality storage saver of course is unlimited and original quality is going to count against your storage on your google drive the feature of portrait light also works without any issues here it is portrait light working and of course super important thing to note over here is that it will only work on human objects if i try to edit a picture of my chicken friend it's not going to work with respect to the assistant lady she is there and she's going to help you with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well next thing we can do is have a look at the app opening animations to see if you have any lags any jitters in the ui nope nothing like that app opening animations are pretty smooth let us have a look at our google feed also there it is no jitters no lags the transition from google feed to the home screen pretty great as well have a look at the recents bam here it is recents are working without any issues select works screenshot also works Moving between the recents, trying to have a look at the different applications which are open, also work without any issues. Next up, let us try to switch between a few applications to see if you have any issues in that regard. Again, as you can see on your screen right now, no jitters, no lags, everything is absolutely fine and pretty smooth. So what is the final take? Well, I think we should be more than happy to have Android 12 Beta 5 running like a boss on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro, shouldn't we? And that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.